Hello, this is Justin from the DataMail project. In uh, this screencast, we're going to go over uh, a feature in DataMail called Magic User Templates. Now, Magic User Templates allow you to uh, transform DataMail's look and feel, its, its design, um, into uh, in our existing design, say, your own website. So uh, I have a website here. Um, it's uh, powered by WordPress. And I'd like my DataMail to look just like my already existing website. Um, you know, that, that default design that Dynamail comes with is great and all, but it, it just doesn't look like my website. Um, so I, when people visit my website and they interact with my mailing lists, I want them to feel as if they um, haven't left my website and gone to a different service or something. Um, and that's what kind of Magic User Templates uh, provides. So Magic User Templates are um, configured in uh, Dynamail's installer. So we're gonna visit the installer uh, right now. So if I've actually uh, I've already um, installed Dynamail on this website, so I'm not going to go through that, um, but what I'm going to do is actually change the global configuration of my Dynamail um, afterwards. So that's one cool thing you can do with the, uh, the installer that comes with Dynamail. Now Magic User Templates are a feature um, an advanced feature of uh, the installer, and those features are kind of located at the bottom of the installer, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, but we're just going to interest in one called Conclibber Configure, excuse me, Global Template Options. Now I'm not going to go through um, all these options that you can do. Um, check out the docs for a complete um, explanation of that. But here's what um, the changes I have made are. So um, I'm going to make sure that this option um, labeled Configure Global Template Options is checked, and I'm also going to click the, the option that says use a custom user template. And I'm also going to, underneath that, make sure that the option to um, man magically use the templates is uh, checked rather than manually. There's manually, that's magically. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different options you can set to kind of just customize your specific magic user template perfectly. Um, I'm gonna show you what I've done. So for the URL, is just the URL to the, the default page of my website. If I go there, there it is. Um, I'm going to add that base href tag, and I'm going to set it to basically the same URL as my website. Um, just make sure that that last slash is on there, and you'll be great. Um, the next option is where it wants me to place Prodaz head content. Now, the head content are things like JavaScript files, CSS files, things like that. So I'm going to um, set them to uh, be placed before the existing head content. Um, basically, that means that if there are anything conflicting, kind of like CSS files or JavaScript files, um, the content that's already in my head uh, will be placed ap afterwards, and it'll actually override what Dynamel places. So if there's any weird conflicts, it'll kind of resolve itself out. Um, I think I've checked the option to include Dynamail's own style sheet. For me, that really wasn't working out. Um, a big reason why is that my website um, is designed using the foundation framework, and uh, so is Dynamail. So uh, to have two style sheets that are so similar just, just wasn't working out for me, so I've unselected that. Um, I also have the option to include a custom style sheet. I didn't find that necessary, so I'm just gonna like leave that way. For JavaScript options, since I'm um, working with a WordPress website, I've unchecked the option to include a copy of jQuery. If you're also having, if you also use uh, WordPress for your website, it's a great chance that you're also using jQuery and you don't need JavaScript. I'm sorry, Dynamail to include its own copy. It's already existing, um, and that's it. So the most important thing. Um, is where I'm going to place Prodaz content. So basically, it's asking where in this site, site's design, do I want Prodaz to put its content? Um, I don't want to replace the entire site because then I don't have a design. Um, I want to keep the sidebar. I want to keep this top toolbar. I want the hero image in the top. All this wants to stay. What I want uh, replaced is this part. All the content, basically where my blog entries are. So how do I how do I tell Dynamo to do that? Well, the way I've done it is I've um, told Dynamail, hey, find a specific tag with this specific ID called main underscore content. Find the, the content in there, remove it, and replace it with your own content, which is exactly what Dynamail does. So if I click the test user template button, 
check it out. There it is. So the hero image is still there. My top toolbar is still there. My sidebar is there. But all the content that was there, all the blog entries, have been replaced by this kind of test, text test. Uh, test text. Blech. So that's exactly what I want. So how did I figure out that's the, the ID that I need? That's a really great question. And uh, let's walk through that right now. So I'm going to go back to my website. And uh, I'm using Firefox, and I find it really works well with this. I'm going to right-click, and I get a little modal menu. I want to go down to Inspect Element. This opens up the, the inspector, and it basically allows me to see um, what the underlying HTML is and what it, it's representing um, in my design up here. And if I kind of like hover over the different uh, div tags, all the different HTML, you'll see that different things are being highlighted. And these is basically saying that, oh, okay, for this HTML tag, it's enclosed around this entire um, HTML in your page. So all I have to do is find out which tag kind of only encloses this part. So it's not the section tag, it's not this tag, because it has the sidebar there. Um, oh, that looks like a good one. This one's called main content. Um, and it's just enclosing uh, where my blog entries are. If I go down, you know, uh, there just as that one header, that's not it. But it's the main content tag. So you can like copy that, go back to the installer and just paste that in. So it's pretty easy to find out if you've got the wrong tag. So say I go, let's say, let's find another one. Let's find this one says ID post equals dash 208. Probably the wrong tag, but let's see what happens. So let's test our tag, our, our user template. Okay, um, looks just like my website, but the first thing is like an, you know, a blog post, which is great, but not what I want. Oh, and then there's the, the test content. So that's not it. Kind of knew that already, but that's kind of how you know you're on the wrong track, that the content that you don't want there is still there. So let's close that. Put this back to main content. Test it out again. And uh, we're good to go. So my hero image is still there. My top menu is still there. My sidebar menu is there. But uh, all those blog posts are gone. And .mail's content's there. That's fantastic. Oh, if you, you've wondered why I have to resize the, the, the window here, the test preview window, it's because my website's responsive. So this is kind of like the, the mobile view. Um, and I have to like kind of scrunch it back or expand it, I guess, to show the desktop, laptop view, things like that. So you might have to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to click the button at the bottom that says Configure Pro Data. Let it do its business, uh, move the installer out of the way, and test out my Datamail. Okay, so you can see this is Datamail now, but it's taken on uh, the look and feel of my current website, my WordPress blog. And if you look, there's the subscribe bar, I'm um, sorry, the subscribe form. And we can check out one of my lists. Awesome. All that information's there. I can subscribe to my mailing list if I want. Let's check that out. Subscribe. And that screen you get refreshed to, that's also um, uh, uh, themed to uh, my website design. So that's uh, Magic User Templates in uh, ProData. Give it a try. I'm using uh, version 902 uh, of ProData. Um, give it a try. If you haven't used version 9 of ProData, there's lots of awesome changes. Most, uh, most definitely the, uh, the front-facing design has been totally rewritten, and it looks awesome. Um, it's totally responsive now. Works on your mobile phone, your laptop, your tablet, desktop computer. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm really proud of it. Um, take care.